You've just entered the Brick Zone, my name is Will, and this is the Halo Mega Block set, Spartan 4 Battle Pack 2. The set was originally released in 2014 and includes 51 pieces. If you guys recall, this set was released around the time Mega Blocks was starting to roll out sets with the new style of figures with added articulation. So, there were actually two versions of this set released, and in both versions they included these two figures. And yes, I know my Storm Jackal there is missing a leg. But honestly, I don't really care. I'm not really a fan of either of these figures, to be honest. Uh, over there we have uh, Imperial Grunt in Force Green. He comes armed with a Revenant Red Needler. While the Storm Jackal comes armed with a Plasma Pistol and has a Trans Yellow Energy Shield. So, like I said, not a big fan of either of them. In both versions of the Spartan 4 Battle Pack, uh, I didn't get the I didn't get the sets for these two figures at all. So, not a huge loss on my part, per, uh, personally. So that does it for these figures. Here is the real reason why I got both Spartan 4 Battle Packs back in 2014 and now in 2015. The Spartans. Uh, on the left there, we have the Gungnir in orange, and he comes armed with a saw, and on the right we have an awesome active camo Mark VI Spartan, Halo 4 style Mark VI. So originally in the first version of the Spartan 4 pack you got a Halo 4 style scout and a Halo 4 style recruit in the gummy trans light blue color. I'm not sure if it's light blue, trans, trans blue. So. Those were also pretty good figures, I think, but they were in the old style of figures, so none of the added articulation and interchangeable armor like these two have. But even though they changed it up, because I'm pretty sure I remember 2014 being the year of the Gungnir Spire, and there were just so many Gungnirs coming out in all these sets, um, so I guess they decided to swap out the Scout for a Gungnir, since it was 2014. But yeah, these two figures just are awesome. Uh, the Gungnir, you know, it's... Good. I'm not a huge fan of Gungnir, but good to get them. But really, the star of the show is definitely that active camo Mark VI, because it just makes sense. It's it's such a good figure to get, especially since there are many Mark VI Spartans in the Halo 4 style and also in the new articulation. So that's just that's going to be so useful for for stop motions and stuff, at least for my personal use. So really like that figure and definitely see it being useful for a lot of things. Uh, the Gungnir, again, good figure, but, you know, there are plenty of Gungnirs out there. And also, that active camo Mark VI, he comes with an active camo shotgun, which which, which makes even more sense, too. Um, I love when... I don't know, sometimes, you know, the, the transparent figures, I like them a lot, but sometimes they just don't make sense, like a, an active camo jackal or skirmisher or something. Things where they make active camo like elites or Spartans, those are things you actually see in game and you can be in game, so I think those make a lot more sense and you know they're just better to get, I think. So that does it for these two Spartans, which I really like. The last thing to note about this set is that it includes a nice display stand where you can show off your figures. It's built mostly out of some 2x4s, a couple plates, and that nice printed Halo logo plate on the front. And while the plates are a little warped there, you know, it looks just fine to me. It does the job. So, while I'm here and everything's displayed pretty nicely, I think I'll close the review around here uh, with my overall thoughts. And that is that I got this set, or this is one of those sets where I get it for, you know, just a specific component and not just everything. In this case, I got it for the two Spartans. And I... I don't really care all that much for the Covenant included in this one. So, I think that that Active Camo Mark VI Spartan is a great figure to get, very useful and makes a lot of sense. Uh, the Jackal and the Grunt, you know, I don't really care about them all that much, but I'm sure there are people out there who, who like the, the Storm Jackal and the Imperial Grunt, so, you know, that's fine. And the Gungnir, you know, a lot of Gungnirs that year in 2014, and you know, I'm not a huge fan of the Gungnir, but I still think that that's a pretty good looking figure, so yeah, can't complain. Well, I guess I could, I could probably complain about the missing leg on the Jackal, but 
again, doesn't really bother me all that much. So, what do you guys think of this set? Do you prefer the first version with the Scout and the, the Trans Blue Recruit, or do you prefer this version with the Gungnir and the Active Camo Mark VI? Uh, I think I prefer this one <laughs> over the first one. Um, or, I don't know, it's, that's, it's a really hard choice. I mean, I like this one because you have the new style of figures with the, the added articulation and the interchangeable armor. Um, but, I don't know, I think that in both cases, uh, the transparent active camo figure is awesome in both, because the recruit in the other in the other version is also pretty useful for like holograms, which I will probably be using in a stop motion actually. So, um, yeah, what else do you guys think? Just leave your thoughts in a comment below if you feel like it. Other than that, like or dislike the video depending on if you liked it or disliked it, and. Go ahead and check out some more videos here on the Brick Zone if you want to watch some more video reviews and stop motions.